Hello everybody and welcome back to my learning space. This is another video request and um, I think we're going to get through it quickly because it's, uh, I think it's a fairly simple song and I will talk about what the bass is doing and I will talk about uh, what the pianist is doing and I will sing the melody for you. I'm going to first tell you what scale it's dealing with. It's dealing with harmonic minor. And the first chord is a, a D minor 9 chord. And the pianist tends to voice it a lot like this, also stylistically, uh, for this kind of Afro pop style. Uh, these kinds of um, root position 9 chords work a lot, work well. But also to voice it like this would work. Like cluster styles also work. But that's also another voicing that you can use. Um, so what the bass is doing is really he's outlining the D minor triad. So. Then it goes to chord 4, which does exactly the same thing as chord 1. Chord 4 I'm voicing 7, 9, 3, 5. And if you're wondering what I mean by chord 4, I mean if I go up the harmonic minor scale, here's chord 4, but I'll do the whole thing anyway. Okay, but um, obviously I don't want to be voicing it root position, at least not all the time. So I'm just going to voice it like this, or you could do something like... Okay, so, so far it's And then what happens is it goes to chord 6, so again I'll show you the scale, and I show you the scale because I think it's important if you're trying to learn harmony not just trying to learn a song for the sake of it so this would be chord six so it goes to chord six um and chord six so a lot of the times in my experience when you play chord six within a minor context it's a sharp 11 major chord so um you would add the e there but in any case can totally just make it a a normal A flat I mean B flat major 7 chord and then it goes down to chord 5 um, and naturally in in a minor context we would have a, a sharp 5 in a minor scale but the pianist also makes use of sharp 11 I mean sharp 9 it does that a lot So, and you know, as a pianist, and I don't, I don't know if the pianist is doing something specific there. I think he, there are some repetitive rhythms that he's playing. But um, as a pian, as a pianist, you know, you want to fit yourself within the groove. If the bassist is doing, then you can do something like. do something like um, um, you know and also stylistically for this song 
um, I don't know if it's a song that you would want to comp like you would be comping jazz I think it also appreciates um, comping doing some repetitive styles of rhythms and comping so that can be for you to figure out um, but yeah so then the verse goes the verse uses the same um, chords as in that sort of prelude or intro of Ia Iyo Ia Iyo <laughs> so first verse Lissidulen Fasi Lissidulen Fasi Ari Amen Kamoto Ari Ruteng Banabarona Tutokili Sedi Tutokili Sedi Kili Sedi Ladi Chaba Ali Ruteng Banabarona That's that. That's the song. It's a beautiful song by Sister Truth Sipuma. Um, and I hope this was helpful. Please give me a like on your way out. And I'll see you again in the next video. If you have any requests, let me know in the comment. I'll see you again soon.